YouTube, welcome back to Hugh is Helpful. Today is Hugh needs a haircut. Anyway, all joking aside, all playing aside, um, it's really nice out here today. I got my sleeves out. It's been cold, like single digits and neggies, and it's been really tough. So, um, anyways, my mom's 07 HHR has been having a hard time starting or not starting. You know, you turn the key and you get the click. It was past that. You turn the key, you don't get nothing. Anyways, one thing you need to do, don't let your battery die and try to open the trunk. You can do it, but it's a pain in the booty, all right? So anyways, today I want to show you guys the um, all-tool battery tester that I got. It's got a um, alternator tester on there too. Print out for the customers. Um, make it just a little bit easier to show them what's going on with their battery. Um, <clears throat> so today, we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to start off with going to a box. Thank you, Rigid. Pull out the all-tool. I'll throw some more pictures in on the video so you guys can really get a look at it. And we got a little clamps. They plug into the bottom of the unit right here. So, so since I'm one-handed, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then I'll click back. And um, oh, one more thing. Let's see how it does first with starting. Since, like I said, I put it on the charger. I got it charged back up. The weather's not freezing, so hopefully, let's just see how it does. All right, y'all ready for this? You see her back there, right? Okay, horn worked. Hey, what do you know? All right, but this is the difference between 10 degrees, you know, in the winter time, and then it's like 62 degrees right now in the spring, so big difference. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll be right back with you. Hang tight. Like I said, this is a real pain in the butt to open up when your battery's dead. So try your best not to have this issue. <laughs> All right, so everything's already pretty much taken apart because I had to take the battery out and stick it on the charger, give it a nice, good, slow charge overnight, get some voltage back in there. All right. Now this guy back here was all loose. Nothing was, nothing was secured. It was rattling around every time I hit a bump. <laughs> driving me nuts all right Sorry about the wind blowing, guys. It's a windy day, so. All right. So what we want to do is battery test. And okay. Select what type of battery. And we're just going with a regular flooded battery. Uh, cold cranking amps. USA. So we want to set the cold cranking amps that you can see right here on the sticker. 600 cold cranking amps. So we want to increase the value to 600. Yeah. Okay. Let's test it. All right. Here's what we got. Okay, so 11.87, yeah, that's not really hitting on nothing. 58% life, 459 cold cranking amps. Now, the battery's supposed to be giving out 600. It's obviously not giving out 600, which isn't good. The battery voltage should be higher than that. We should be looking at 12.2, at least 12. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit this print button. And then, obviously, there we go, and we've got a print out. All right, now I'm going to unhook all this stuff and I'm going to take it inside and we'll talk about it in there, all right? There we go. So this is the printout we got from the HHR. It's a little windy, y'all already know that, so stop tripping. All right, uh, so what we got here, we have voltage at 11.87 volts. Like I said, we want this to be 12 at least. This should be 12.1, 12.2, 12.4, 12 you know. 
Uh, battery battery energy is zero percent. We know it's got a little bit of energy in it. All right, set rate of value six hundred cold cranking amps. We determine that by the sticker on the battery. The current it is actually giving out is four hundred and fifty nine cold cranking amps, which is obviously enough to start the vehicle. So that's good. Um, fifty eight percent life. Result is recharge and try. Um, the battery level is basically too low to get a 100% accurate reading so ideally I would take that thing put it back on my bench charge it with a slow trickle charge couple amps overnight and uh, really give it some time to pack in that energy and then um, stick it back in the car redo the test um, we know that we want to replace it because the 600 cold cranking amps only getting 459 that's just not really going to do much for us when wintertime rolls back around. Just give you a little bit more information about this all tool automotive load battery system tester and analyzer. Um, it is a BT760, so BT760. I think I paid around 100 bucks for this. Maybe it was 125 130 something like that. Um, got it all on Amazon. <clears throat> Either way, these things are really, really helpful, especially when you're doing uh, roadside assistance and somebody needs a battery jump. Oftentimes they wonder just how healthy their battery truly is, but just looking at your battery is not really going to tell you this at all. So this is going to give you facts on a printed out piece of paper so that you can look at it, judge for yourself, and make your own you know, decision based on facts. Um, I haven't had a chance to use it a whole lot just yet, but it definitely did just help in this situation. I know I need to replace this battery now if I don't want my mind to be stranded somewhere sometime.